In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the EDA scan app on your Fitbit Charge 5. So starting from your clock face, if you swipe to the right, you should be able to find the EDA scan app. So right now it says three minutes and tap to start. So I'll go ahead and tap. And the first time you do this, it'll kind of give you a little onboarding experience. So it says, what is EDA response? EDA responses are tiny electrical changes in your skin due to stress, excitement, etc. Your Fitbit can detect them in your session. The calmer you are, the fewer responses you should see. So now I can tap next. And two of two, it says, how do I see my EDA responses? Gently hold the sides of your device for three minutes. Remember to keep still. And then it says, get started. So I'll tap that. So it says three minutes, I can tap to start, or this little arrow means I can actually swipe up to see if there are any other options I want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe up. And it actually says edit length, which I do want to see what my options are. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. And so it looks like we can do between two minutes and seven minutes. So I'm going to set this to two. I'd kind of rather it be one because two, two feels like a little a little bit longer than I would usually like, but I'll go ahead and tap here to select two minutes. And I'm going to see if I can swipe back. Okay, so I just swipe back so I can get back to the other options. Now you can see it does say two minutes instead of three. So I'm going to swipe up and up again. And I think it just tells you kind of what to do. So really just changing the duration and reminding you what to do is all this does. So I'll go ahead and go back. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap play here. It says stay still and gently hold the sides. And then it kind of gives you a little animation of what to do. So I'm gonna, these little connection points here are what you kind of want to be in contact with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of place my fingers here. You don't have to pinch, you just place them there. And it says just breathe and the timer is counting down from my two minutes so I'll go ahead and just be still here and fast forward the video and we'll see what happens after this time finishes the other thing to note is if you take your fingers off it will pause so if you need to answer the phone or <laughs> somebody interrupted you you can pause and it does say hold the decides to resume or you can end your session if you need to. So I'll go ahead and hold the sides to resume. All right, so it says I'm all done so I can remove my fingers from the sides of the watch or the wristband. And now it says, how do you feel? Reflect on your mood after each session. So I can say calm, I'm very calm, calm, neutral, stressed, very stressed, or I can skip. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I am neutral because I am standing up and it's a little hard to stand up to do this. So it said I had 14 total EDA responses during that session. It says your responses were on an upwards trend and it also gives me my heart rate at the start and at the end. So my heart rate actually did decrease by 11 beats per minute during that two minute session. And it says my mood, I logged as neutral. And it tells me way to go, I did one of five mindfulness days for this week. And it says hot tip for more impact, try another session after a breathing exercise. Well, that's kind of interesting because I believe they got rid of the guided breathing exercise on the charge five, so don't think that's possible. Well, maybe you do it through the uh, mindfulness sessions, I guess, now. So anyway, you can see done or see on mobile. So it says to learn more, open the Fitbit mobile app. So let me see if I can show you that here. So I've got my app. And let me see what happens if I tap C on mobile. So I did get a notification. It says EDA scan open to view. So I'll tap here. 
and it takes me to this little mindfulness tab. If for some reason that doesn't work for you, all you have to do is open your Fitbit app, make sure you're on the Today tab, and then you want to find the mindfulness um, row in whatever your list order is here, and then tap on that, and that will take you to the exact same screen there. So essentially, I believe what it did is took me to the Your Journey tab also. So then it says today at 3.03 p.m. I did a quick scan. It says three minutes, but it was actually two. So it does tell me that my heart rate at the beginning and the end and how many EDA responses I got. Also gives me a check mark for doing a mindfulness session on this day on the calendar. And you can also track your total minutes of mindfulness per day. And you can expand this to look on over larger periods of time, finding your average, things like that. So if I can also tap here, it says the session time. So I guess overall session was two minutes and 34, or yeah, two minutes and 34 seconds because I did explain how to pause and resume. Um, Heart rate change it says to see this data, go back to the Today tab and sync your Fitbit device. So I'll go ahead and do that in a moment. And then it shows me the EDA sponsors over time. So in the beginning, I only had one, and then four, five, and four. It tells you while the individual EDA responses may vary, you should typically expect fewer EDA responses the calmer you are. These responses may be due to stress or other factors such as movement, noise, or temperature change. I will say that I've used this on the Fitbit Sense before when I was in a very <laughs> stressed state and it literally responded, recorded zero total responses. So I personally don't have 100% uh, feelings that this is accurate, at least for what I call stress. So your um, mileage may vary in this case. Hopefully it helps you. But I'm just telling you my personal experience is I'm not sure this really uh, knows when I'm stressed, but I will keep using this and see if it has changed on the Charge 5. You can also individually log of another reflection here if you didn't do it earlier, or you can get back out of that. You can also tap here to learn more, and you can learn more about some things related to the EDA response. And here I'll go ahead and do that um, back to the Today tab and sync my device. So I'll go ahead and tap here. And then a quick way to sync, you can just pull down, and it says release to refresh. So it says syncing your charge five. And then this little progress bar goes across. And it said sync complete. So now I can tap here again. It's actually giving me a little onboarding thing for some reason. So I'll go ahead and just tap next. And next. And then this is where you can set up how often you want to do a mindfulness session each week. So I'll go ahead and just keep it at five days for now, but you can swipe all the way from one to all seven days per week, whatever you want. I'll go ahead and tap submit. And I'm all set, so I will view. And now I'm going to go back to the Your Journey tab. And I'm going to tap here. And now you can see that it did provide the graph of the heart rate change from the beginning of my session to the end of my session. So. That pretty much covers all of the information that you can get with the EDA scan app. I will let you know that I do not have premium on this Charge 5. So this, will, all of the things demonstrated here are without premium. I do not have Fitbit premium. So you can do all of this without paying anything extra for your Charge 5. So if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 5 videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.